Wuhan Institute of Virology The Wuhan Institute of Virology, with Chinese, Pinyin, Jingguo Kekshui Yuan Wuhan Bing Di Yang Jiasuo, is a research institute administered by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, on virology, and is located in Jiangxia District, Wuhan, Hubei, China. In 2015, the institute opened the first biosafety level 4, BSL-4, laboratory to be built in mainland China. History The institute was founded in 1956 as the Wuhan Microbiology Laboratory under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS. In 1961, it became the South China Institute of Microbiology, and in 1962 was renamed to Wuhan Microbiology Institute. In 1970, it became the Microbiology Institute of Hubei Province when the Hubei Commission of Science and Technology took over the administration. In June 1978, it was returned to the CAS and renamed Wuhan Institute of Virology. In 2015, the National Biosafety Laboratory was completed at a cost of 300 million yuan, $44 million, at the Institute in collaboration with French engineers from Lyon, and was the first Biosafety Level 4, BSL-4, laboratory to be built in mainland China. The laboratory took over a decade to complete from its conception in 2003 and scientists such as U.S. molecular biologist Richard H. Bright expressed concern of previous escapes of the SARS virus at Chinese laboratories in Beijing, and the pace and scale of China's plans for expansion into BSL-4 laboratories. The laboratory has strong ties to the Galveston National Laboratory and the University of Texas. In 2020, Ebright called the institute a world-class research institution that does world-class research in virology and immunology. 2019-20 Coronavirus Outbreak In February 2020, the New York Times reported that a team led by Xi Zengli at the Institute were the first to identify, analyze and name the genetic sequence of the novel coronavirus, 2019 NCOV, and upload it to public databases for scientists around the world to understand, and publishing papers in Nature. In February 2020, the Institute applied for a patent in China for the use of Remdesivir, an experimental drug owned by Gilead Sciences, which the Institute found inhibited the virus in vitro, in a move which also raised concerns regarding international intellectual property rights. In a statement, the Institute said it would not exercise its new Chinese patent rights if relevant foreign companies intend to contribute to the prevention and control of China's epidemic. The Institute was rumored as a source for the 2019-20 coronavirus outbreak as a result of allegations of bioweapon research, which was debunked as a conspiracy theory by the Washington Post in a piece titled, Experts Debunk Fringe Theory Linking China's Coronavirus to Weapons Research. The Post cited U.S. experts who explained why the Institute was not suitable for bioweapon research, that most countries had abandoned bioweapons as fruitless, and that there was no evidence that the virus was genetically engineered. In February 2020, the Financial Times reported from virus expert and global lead coronavirus investigator, Trevor Bradford, who said that the evidence we have is that the mutations are completely consistent with natural evolution. During January and February 2020, the Institute was subject to further conspiracy theories, and concerns that it was the source of the outbreak through accidental leakage, which is publicly refuted. Top members of the Institute's research teams were also subject to various conspiracy theories, including Xi, who made various public statements defending the Institute. While Bright refuted several of conspiracy theories regarding the WIV, he told BBC China that this did not represent the possibility of the virus being completely ruled out from entering the population due to a laboratory accident. Research Centers The Institute contains the following research centers, the Institute contains